Listen and practice. 1. Water is all around us. We have liquid water in rivers and oceans. We have frozen water in ice and glaciers. And we have water vapor in clouds and steam. Water is very important. How many oceans are there? What is the biggest ocean animal? How much water do we use to take a bath? What percent of our body is water? Repeat after me. Water is all around us. Water is all around us. Water is all around us. We have liquid water in rivers and oceans. We have liquid water in rivers and oceans. We have liquid water in rivers and oceans. We have frozen water in ice and glaciers. We have frozen water in ice and glaciers. We have frozen water in ice and glaciers. And we have water vapor in clouds and steam. And we have water vapor in clouds and steam. And we have water vapor in clouds and steam. Water is very important. Water is very important. Water is very important. How many oceans are there? How many oceans are there? How many oceans are there? What is the biggest ocean animal? What is the biggest ocean animal? What is the biggest ocean animal? How much water do we use to take a bath? How much water do we use to take a bath? How much water do we use to take a bath? What percent of our body is water? What 
What percent of our body is water? What percent of our body is water? Two. Salt water. About seventy percent of Earth is covered with water. Most of the water is in the oceans. There are five oceans the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Southern Ocean, and the Arctic Ocean. The largest ocean is the Pacific Ocean. It's 156 million square kilometers. It's about 15 times bigger than the USA. There are also many seas on Earth. The largest sea is the South China Sea. It's 3 million square kilometers. One of the smallest seas is the Marmara Sea. It's only about 11,000 square kilometers. All the water in the oceans and seas is salt water. The Dead Sea is about 30% salt. It's the saltiest sea on Earth. It's so salty, you can float in it. Repeat after me. Salt water. About 70% of Earth is covered with water. Salt water. About 70% of Earth is covered with water. Salt water. About 70% of Earth is covered with water. Most of the water is in the oceans. Most of the water is in the oceans. Most of the water is in the oceans. There are five oceans. There are five oceans. There are five oceans. The Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Southern Ocean, and the Arctic Ocean. The Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Southern Ocean, and the Arctic Ocean. The Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Southern Ocean, and the Arctic Ocean. The largest ocean is the Pacific Ocean. The largest ocean is the Pacific Ocean. The largest ocean is the Pacific Ocean. 
It's 156 million square kilometers. It's 156 million square kilometers. It's 156 million square kilometers. It's about 15 times bigger than the USA. It's about 15 times bigger than the USA. It's about 15 times bigger than the USA. There are also many seas on Earth. There are also many seas on Earth. There are also many seas on Earth. The largest sea is the South China Sea. The largest sea is the South China Sea. The largest sea is the South China Sea. It's three million square kilometers. It's three million square kilometers. It's three million square kilometers. One of the smallest seas is the Marmara Sea. One of the smallest seas is the Marmara Sea. One of the smallest seas is the Marmara Sea. It's only about 11,000 square kilometers. It's only about 11,000 square kilometers. It's only about 11,000 square kilometers. All the water in the oceans and seas is salt water. All the water in the oceans and seas is salt water. All the water in the oceans and seas is salt water. The Dead Sea is about 30% salt. The Dead Sea is about 30% salt. The Dead Sea is about 30% salt. It's the saltiest sea on Earth.
It's the saltiest sea on Earth. It's the saltiest sea on Earth. It's so salty, you can float in it. It's so salty, you can float in it. It's so salty, you can float in it. Three. Salt water. Today, the water in our oceans and seas is about 3.5% salt. Do you know why? When rain falls on land, some of it goes into lakes and rivers and then into the oceans. As the water moves, it picks up salt from the ground. When the water goes into the ocean, it carries this salt with it. After many millions of years, this has made our oceans salty. Some lakes can be very salty, like Lake Asal in Djibouti in Africa. In this lake, the water is more than 35% salt, and no plants or animals can live there. The salt water comes from underground hot springs. When the hot water evaporates into the air, it leaves the salt in the lake. Repeat after me. Salt water. Salt water. Salt water. Today, the water in our oceans and seas is about 3.5% salt. Today, the water in our oceans and seas is about 3.5% salt. Today, the water in our oceans and seas is about 3.5% salt. Do you know why? Do you know why? Do you know why? When rain falls on land, some of it goes into lakes and rivers, and then into the oceans. When rain falls on land, some of it goes into lakes and rivers, and then into the oceans. When rain falls on land, some of it goes into lakes and rivers, and then into the oceans. As the water moves, it picks up salt from the ground. As the water moves, it picks up salt from the ground. As the water moves, it picks up salt from the ground. When the water goes into the ocean, it carries this salt with it. When the water goes into the ocean, it carries this salt with it.
When the water goes into the ocean, it carries this salt with it. After many millions of years, this has made our oceans salty. After many millions of years, this has made our oceans salty. After many millions of years, this has made our oceans salty. Some lakes can be very salty, like Lake Asal in Djibouti in Africa. Some lakes can be very salty, like Lake Asal in Djibouti in Africa. Some lakes can be very salty, like Lake Asal in Djibouti in Africa. In this lake, the water is more than 35% salt, and no plants or animals can live there. In this lake, the water is more than 35% salt, and no plants or animals can live there. In this lake, the water is more than 35% salt, and no plants or animals can live there. The salt water comes from underground hot springs. The salt water comes from underground hot springs. The salt water comes from underground hot springs. When the hot water evaporates into the air, it leaves the salt in the lake. When the hot water evaporates into the air, it leaves the salt in the lake. When the hot water evaporates into the air, it leaves the salt in the lake. Salt water Today, the water in our oceans and seas is about 3.5% salt. Do you know why? When rain falls on land, some of it goes into lakes and rivers, and then into the oceans. As the water moves, it picks up salt from the ground. When the water goes into the ocean, it carries this salt with it. After many millions of years, this has made our oceans salty. Some lakes can be very salty, like Lake Asal in Djibouti in Africa. In this lake, the water is more than 35% salt, and no plants or animals can live there. The salt water comes from underground hot springs. When the hot water evaporates into the air, it leaves the salt in the lake. Repeat after me. Salt water. Salt water.
salt water. Today, the water in our oceans and seas is about 3.5% salt. Today, the water in our oceans and seas is about 3.5% salt. Today, the water in our oceans and seas is about 3.5% salt. Do you know why? Do you know why? Do you know why? When rain falls on land, some of it goes into lakes and rivers, and then into the oceans. When rain falls on land, some of it goes into lakes and rivers, and then into the oceans. When rain falls on land, some of it goes into lakes and rivers, and then into the oceans. As the water moves, it picks up salt from the ground. As the water moves, it picks up salt from the ground. As the water moves, it picks up salt from the ground. When the water goes into the ocean, it carries this salt with it. When the water goes into the ocean, it carries this salt with it. When the water goes into the ocean, it carries this salt with it. After many millions of years, this has made our oceans salty. After many millions of years, this has made our oceans salty. After many millions of years, this has made our oceans salty. Some lakes can be very salty, like Lake Asal in Djibouti in Africa. Some lakes can be very salty, like Lake Asal in Djibouti in Africa. Some lakes can be very salty, like Lake Asal in Djibouti in Africa. In this lake, the water is more than 35% salt and no plants or animals can live there. In this lake, the water is more than 35% salt, and no plants or animals can live there.
In this lake, the water is more than 35% salt, and no plants or animals can live there. The salt water comes from underground hot springs. The salt water comes from underground hot springs. The salt water comes from underground hot springs. When the hot water evaporates into the air, it leaves the salt in the lake. When the hot water evaporates into the air, it leaves the salt in the lake. When the hot water evaporates into the air, it leaves the salt in the lake. Four, water and air. Today, water covers about 70% of our planet. Billions of years ago, Earth's surface was dry and nothing lived here. Earth's atmosphere was also different. It had lots of carbon dioxide and other gases, but no oxygen. How the oceans formed At first, there wasn't any liquid water on Earth's surface, but there was lots of water vapour in the atmosphere. This water vapour came from inside the planet when volcanoes erupted. When Earth cooled down, the water vapour condensed and formed clouds in the sky. Then it started to rain. After millions of years, liquid water covered most of our planet's surface. Some of our planet's water came from millions of icy meteorites. When the meteorites entered Earth's atmosphere, the ice heated up and changed to water vapour. Oxygen About three billion years ago, something amazing happened. Living things appeared on Earth. Some of the first living things were tiny blue-green bacteria. These bacteria grew in shallow pools of warm water, and we can find their fossils today. The fossils look like rocks with unusual shapes, and they're called stromatolites. Blue-green bacteria used sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide to make their own food like plants do today. The blue-green bacteria also produced oxygen, and after millions of years, there was lots of oxygen in Earth's oceans and atmosphere. Today, the air that we breathe is about 21% oxygen. We couldn't live without it. Repeat after me. Water and air. Water and air. Water and air. Today, water covers about 70% of our planet. Today, water covers about 70% of our planet. Today, 
water covers about 70% of our planet. Billions of years ago, Earth's surface was dry and nothing lived here. Billions of years ago, Earth's surface was dry and nothing lived here. Billions of years ago, Earth's surface was dry and nothing lived here. Earth's atmosphere was also different. Earth's atmosphere was also different. Earth's atmosphere was also different. It had lots of carbon dioxide and other gases, but no oxygen. It had lots of carbon dioxide and other gases, but no oxygen. It had lots of carbon dioxide and other gases, but no oxygen. How the oceans formed How the oceans formed. How the oceans formed. At first, there wasn't any liquid water on Earth's surface. At first, there wasn't any liquid water on Earth's surface. At first, there wasn't any liquid water on Earth's surface. But there was lots of water vapor in the atmosphere. but there was lots of water vapor in the atmosphere. But there was lots of water vapor in the atmosphere. This water vapor came from inside the planet when volcanoes erupted. This water vapor came from inside the planet when volcanoes erupted. This water vapor came from inside the planet when volcanoes erupted. When Earth cooled down, the water vapor condensed and formed clouds in the sky.
When Earth cooled down, the water vapor condensed and formed clouds in the sky. When Earth cooled down, the water vapor condensed and formed clouds in the sky. Then it started to rain. Then it started to rain. Then it started to rain. After millions of years, liquid water covered most of our planet's surface. After millions of years, liquid water covered most of our planet's surface. After millions of years, liquid water covered most of our planet's surface. Some of our planet's water came from millions of icy meteorites. Some of our planet's water came from millions of icy meteorites. Some of our planet's water came from millions of icy meteorites. When the meteorites entered Earth's atmosphere, When the meteorites entered Earth's atmosphere, when the meteorites entered Earth's atmosphere, the ice heated up and changed to water vapor. The ice heated up and changed to water vapor. The ice heated up and changed to water vapor. Oxygen. About three billion years ago, Something amazing happened. Living things appeared on Earth. Oxygen. About three billion years ago, something amazing happened. Living things appeared on Earth. Oxygen. About three billion years ago, something amazing happened. Living things appeared on Earth. Some of the first living things were tiny blue-green bacteria.
some of the first living things were tiny blue-green bacteria. Some of the first living things were tiny blue-green bacteria. These bacteria grew in shallow pools of warm water. These bacteria grew in shallow pools of warm water. These bacteria grew in shallow pools of warm water. And we can find their fossils today. And we can find their fossils today. And we can find their fossils today. The fossils look like rocks with unusual shapes, and they're called stromatolites. The fossils look like rocks with unusual shapes, and they're called stromatolites. The fossils look like rocks with unusual shapes, and they're called stromatolites. Blue-green bacteria used sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide to make their own food, like plants do today. Blue-green bacteria used sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide to make their own food, like plants do today. Blue-green bacteria used sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide to make their own food, like plants do today. The blue-green bacteria also produced oxygen. The blue-green bacteria also produced oxygen. The blue-green bacteria also produced oxygen. And after millions of years, there was lots of oxygen in Earth's oceans and atmosphere. And after millions of years, there was lots of oxygen in Earth's oceans and atmosphere. And after millions of years, there was lots of oxygen in Earth's oceans and atmosphere. Today, the air that we breathe is about 21% oxygen.
Today, the air that we breathe is about 21% oxygen. Today, the air that we breathe is about 21% oxygen. We couldn't live without it. We couldn't live without it. We couldn't live without it. Water and air. Today, water covers about 70% of our planet. Billions of years ago, Earth's surface was dry and nothing lived here. Earth's atmosphere was also different. It had lots of carbon dioxide and other gases, but no oxygen. How the oceans formed At first, there wasn't any liquid water on Earth's surface, but there was lots of water vapour in the atmosphere. This water vapour came from inside the planet when volcanoes erupted. When Earth cooled down, the water vapour condensed and formed clouds in the sky. Then it started to rain. After millions of years, liquid water covered most of our planet's surface. Some of our planet's water came from millions of icy meteorites. When the meteorites entered Earth's atmosphere, the ice heated up and changed to water vapour. Oxygen About three billion years ago, something amazing happened. Living things appeared on Earth. Some of the first living things were tiny blue-green bacteria. These bacteria grew in shallow pools of warm water, and we can find their fossils today. The fossils look like rocks with unusual shapes, and they're called stromatolites. Blue-green bacteria used sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide to make their own food, like plants do today. The blue-green bacteria also produced oxygen, and after millions of years, there was lots of oxygen in Earth's oceans and atmosphere. Today, the air that we breathe is about 21% oxygen. We couldn't live without it. Repeat after me. Water and air. Water and air. Water and air. Today, water covers about 70% of our planet. Today, water covers about 70% of our planet. Today, water covers about 70% of our planet. Billions of years ago, Earth's surface was dry and nothing lived here. Billions of years ago, Earth's surface was dry and nothing lived here.
billions of years ago, Earth's surface was dry and nothing lived here. Earth's atmosphere was also different. Earth's atmosphere was also different. Earth's atmosphere was also different. It had lots of carbon dioxide and other gases, but no oxygen. It had lots of carbon dioxide and other gases, but no oxygen. It had lots of carbon dioxide and other gases, but no oxygen. How the oceans formed How the oceans formed. How the oceans formed. At first, there wasn't any liquid water on Earth's surface. At first, there wasn't any liquid water on Earth's surface. At first, there wasn't any liquid water on Earth's surface. But there was lots of water vapor in the atmosphere. But there was lots of water vapor in the atmosphere. But there was lots of water vapor in the atmosphere. This water vapor came from inside the planet when volcanoes erupted. This water vapor came from inside the planet when volcanoes erupted. This water vapor came from inside the planet when volcanoes erupted. When Earth cooled down, the water vapor condensed and formed clouds in the sky. When Earth cooled down, the water vapor condensed and formed clouds in the sky. When Earth cooled down, the water vapor condensed and formed clouds in the sky. Then it started to rain.
Then it started to rain. Then it started to rain. After millions of years, liquid water covered most of our planet's surface. After millions of years, liquid water covered most of our planet's surface. After millions of years, liquid water covered most of our planet's surface. Some of our planet's water came from millions of icy meteorites. Some of our planet's water came from millions of icy meteorites. Some of our planet's water came from millions of icy meteorites. When the meteorites entered Earth's atmosphere, When the meteorites entered Earth's atmosphere, when the meteorites entered Earth's atmosphere, the ice heated up and changed to water vapor. The ice heated up and changed to water vapor. The ice heated up and changed to water vapor. Oxygen. About three billion years ago, something amazing happened. Living things appeared on Earth. Oxygen. About three billion years ago, something amazing happened. Living things appeared on Earth. Oxygen. About three billion years ago, something amazing happened. Living things appeared on Earth. Some of the first living things were tiny blue-green bacteria. Some of the first living things were tiny blue-green bacteria. Some of the first living things were tiny blue-green bacteria. These bacteria grew in shallow pools of warm water.
these bacteria grew in shallow pools of warm water. These bacteria grew in shallow pools of warm water. And we can find their fossils today. And we can find their fossils today. And we can find their fossils today. The fossils look like rocks with unusual shapes, and they're called stromatolites. The fossils look like rocks with unusual shapes, and they're called stromatolites. The fossils look like rocks with unusual shapes, and they're called stromatolites. Blue-green bacteria used sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide to make their own food, like plants do today. Blue-green bacteria used sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide to make their own food, like plants do today. Blue-green bacteria used sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide to make their own food, like plants do today. The blue-green bacteria also produced oxygen. The blue-green bacteria also produced oxygen. The blue-green bacteria also produced oxygen. And after millions of years, there was lots of oxygen in Earth's oceans and atmosphere. And after millions of years, there was lots of oxygen in Earth's oceans and atmosphere. And after millions of years, there was lots of oxygen in Earth's oceans and atmosphere. Today, the air that we breathe is about 21% oxygen. Today, the air that we breathe is about 21% oxygen. Today, the air that we breathe is about 21% oxygen. We couldn't live without it.
We couldn't live without it. We couldn't live without it.